Well, it's one o'clock. I think uh, this one o'clock show. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon and happy Mother's Day, everyone who's watching. Oh. Hello, Asbury Park and everybody from all over. How y'all doing today? Woo! Very nice. Okay, I think I have accomplished the many tasks that I intended to accomplish. So, uh, oh, I wanted to pin that comment uh, over here about uh, the, uh, about how you buy a ticket. Let's see. Uh, I'll just enter that over here. PayPal.me, Golden Gaze NYC. Let's see if that populates over here and then I can pin it. You can also buy our, uh, you can buy a ticket to our show on our merchandise site. All right, so that PayPal worked. Can I, I can just pin that. So let's just do PayPal, that's, uh, that's easy enough. Well, welcome everyone. My name is Dorothy Zbornak and there's the camera. So I have to look there, even though all the work I'm doing is down here. And I'd like to introduce my roommate, Blanche Devereaux. Give it up for Blanche. Oh, Dorothy, you mean Blanche Elizabeth Collinsworth of Atlanta, Georgia, then Blanche Elizabeth Devereaux of Miami, Florida. Hi, fellas. Blanche, your initials are B-E-D. Her initials spell bed. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. You know, none of us could have been born did if it weren't for a bed. Well, That's very true. That's very true. I mean, unless you were uh, conceived in a in an elevator or in uh, regret like me. Oh. Happy Mother's Day. Now, normally every year we spend our Mother's Day down the shore at the Asbury Hotel doing a fabulous Mother's Day brunch and singing our songs and uh, having a gay old time. But this year is We've got a fabulous little show lined up for you today. Uh, Rose, you want to say anything? Uh, just a big happy Mother's Day to everyone. I know I know that this is not the way we wanted to celebrate this year. Um, I'd much rather be stuffing my face with eggs and that fabulous brunch at the Asbury Hotel. But I guess today we're just going to have to settle with herring pie. That sounds horrible. And Blanche, what'd you say? I said, I'll take two slices of hair and pie, please. All one, right. And one oh. Director Mason Griffin, everybody. Oh, Mason's here. Thank God. So there is the, you have a piano there somewhere? We do. It's down here. Oh, down there. Oh, Cher is, and you have Cher on your, uh, on your uh, little doodad. Okay. Well, girls, what do you think? Should I introduce our first mystery guest oh please dorothy go right ahead yeah okay so ladies and gentlemen and everything in between all the way from elgin texas here she is this is my mama tina yeager give it up for tina howdy y'all i mean you bought your galoop it's me the real Sophia, AKA Jason B's mom. 
happy Mother's Day for me and my mother Peggy, <laughs> who's listening, uh, who's listening on the gramophone in the other room. And now, without further ado, my fa second favorite child, Glor after Gloria and before Phil, give it up for Dorothy Zvornak. Ah! Oh my God, Ma, that was uh, that was good. That was not horrible. And you got the uh, you got the bacha galoop. Uh, I wrote her a little, you know, a little something. And of course, she uh, she went to uh, just to mention me and her mother, and she started to cry. Uh, so uh, here we are. We're the Golden Gaze NYC, and I'm the Dorothy. Zbornak. Ma, you can uh, you can't see the comments because uh, my mother is she joined us in the Zoom room so she doesn't see. But Renee is saying hello, Ma, and uh, Andrea Rose says we look amazing, and the Asbury Hotel is here, and uh, Mary, oh, I look looks like Andy's mother is watching over on Facebook. That's cute. Okay, so uh, we thought that in celebration of Mother's Day, we would talk about the uh, the Mother's Day episode that aired at the end of season three. It was the season finale of uh, season three, and uh, all the ladies there sitting around the uh, around the kitchen table as they were wont to do. There's my tab cola, and uh, they're waiting for their children to call. You know, they had to stay in the house to wait for the phone to ring because uh, in the olden days, phones were, uh, they were corded and uh, they were plugged into the, into the wall, you see. So they had to wait for the children, so. Uh, I believe I was waiting for Michael, Michael to call, not Kate. Oh, Kate. So I must have been waiting for Michael. I'm gonna... I'm a little hard candy because I'm an old lady. Um, so, uh, so they do flashbacks. And so for, uh, for Dorothy's flashback about uh, Mother's Days gone by, she recalls the time that she and Stanley, yeah, they went to go and visit Stanley's mother. So we're going to play a little bit of trivia about that episode specifically, and uh, even more specifically about uh, Stanley's uh, mother. On. Who played Stanley's mother in that uh, episode of season three? My pal okay. from down the shore over here, Judy Carl, who actually, ladies, she just bought a bunch of merchandise, and uh, she got the answer. So Judy, uh, Alice Ghostly, that is correct. And uh, I'll so, uh, send you that. Let's do another question. Let's just do one more question from that same episode, since we're talking about actresses playing mommies. So in that same uh, episode, there's a flashback uh, that Sophia has uh, back to her uh, a Mother's Day story that she remembers. And in that episode, Sophia's mother appears. And so my question for you, Judy and Kristen and all of you uh, trivia people, uh, who played Sophia's mother in that Mother's Day episode? Donna. Now, uh, you tell me, Mason, who was the actress who played Sophia's mother in that episode? Well, uh, I will go by her given name, Bernice Frankel. Oh, oh, he's going down a Reddit rabbit hole, Bernice <laughs> Frankel. Yes. In, uh, at Detroit, where there was another city they moved from, and it was not pronounced Bernice, it was Bernice. Yes, Maryland. It's that Maryland accent. And then, of course, Renee wrote, Be Arthur in a wheelchair! A wheelchair! Which is, uh, which is I, more, more correct. I like Judy's answer, though, and Bancroft. Oh. That would have been a boot. Oh, I wish. I don't see that one. Oh, yes. I want to do a, a little song. And Mason gave a perfect intro. Mason and I do this song in our uh, Beatrice Arthur show. And uh, here I have the original playbill from when it played in uh, Baltimore, actually, speaking of Maryland. It's called A Mother's Kisses. And that was supposed to be B. Arthur's star turn on Broadway. She had, she had gotten her Tony for uh, Vera Charles in Maine and she and her husband got together and they were going to create this musical that was going to be B. Arthur's star turn on Broadway and legend has it actually someone from one of our Golden Fans cruises he auditioned for the role of B. Arthur's son in the show and I was chatting with him and he told me the story that out of town uh, Beatrice Arthur's best pal Angela Lansbury came to the show here's that playbill a mother's kisses and she uh she pulled Jean Sachs aside that's the Arthur's uh, husband before she got divorced and uh and she told him that the show needed to close before it made it to Broadway that it just wasn't very good and uh and that it wasn't uh, it wasn't right and so uh legend has it that uh, they closed the show out of town in Baltimore it never made it to Broadway but uh this fabulous song 
is about uh, parenthood. It's uh, sung by B. Arthur's character in the musical, and she's singing about her son, and uh, it's a fabulous song. It's called There Goes My Life. Here we go. There goes my life. There goes my heart, my mind. There goes my soul. The whole damn thing combined. There goes my bank account, my wealth, and all I own. There go the only stocks and bonds I've ever known. There goes my life. You saw it with your eyes. Was that pure gold? Come on, was that a prize? There goes my jackpot, my one chance to make a haul. There goes my life, you heard my life. That's all. You see a boy, six feet tall, a modest style, a charming way. And you might see him at his best. For he's dressed up today. You see a boy who, when he wants, could melt your heart with a boyish grin. But the truth is, you didn't see a boy at all. What you saw was my blood, my flesh, my skin. There goes my life, my world, my big success. Is that a doll? Is that pure gorgeousness? There goes the only thing on earth that makes me survive. There goes my life. The reason I'm alive. Ah! Uh. Uh.